Hey Tubies, it's Psyche Bob. Well, I got Louie with me and we're heading out into the day. It's a kind of a dreary, rainy day out here, but that's okay, Psyche Bob can handle it. You know me, I celebrate life. Rain, snow, sleet, shine, whatever. I'm with it. Come on along, let's have some fun. Hey guys, well I'm in my cab. I'm with my buddy Shahid. Shahid, will you say hi to everybody? Hello. Hello for everyone. <laughs> Yay. Shahid's really nice. He picked me up. We're going out to lunch and have some fun. Because I told you guys it's Vlog Thursday. My We're gonna player, have... my player always. Oh, thank Prince, you, Shahid. Prince is great. <laughs> he calls me Prince, isn't he great? <laughs> thank you, Shahid. You're very welcome. Well, here we are. We're going to go have some lunch, so come on along. Well, Psyche Bob feels like going to a restaurant I've been going to for probably 25, 30 years. It's been here forever. It's called Tippy's Taco. And there it is. You can see it right there. Tippy's Taco. And we're going to, oh, it's got drained and <laughs> watered up. <laughs> and we're going to go up here and have some good lunch. Oh, it looks so good. I'm loving my Tippy's Taco. It's the best. Say goodbye. It's having such a good time. And let's go on in and let's get. Some good Tippy's Taco. I love it. I'm crazy about it. All right, Tippy's. I just realized my batteries are a little lower on my camera. I forgot to charge it last night. But hopefully we can get in some of this. And if we conks out, we'll finish it when I get home and I'll recharge. <laughs> Anyways, I just got my Pepsi here. I, I got a little overflowed. It filled up with foam all the way to the top. It was literally right the edge. I was like, ah, I had to sort of settle down. So the rest of that was all foam from there to the top. <laughs> Anyways, good thing I don't work at a bar. I can't pour a Coke or a beer to save my life. <laughs> well, I tell you, I just ordered my food and it'll be here. I'm sitting here looking at the menu. I've been coming to this restaurant over 20 years. What's really cool is it still is like in the 1980s style and colors. It's like it's never changed, literally since the 1980s. Same artwork, same color scheme. I like it that some things never change. You know, back in the 80s, do you see the color of wood, this kind of blondish wood? That was like all the thing in the restaurants back then. And uh, it's just kind of cool now, so. And they see this mauve color. This was a big color in the 80s. Mauve and like turquoise or cranberry and turquoise, big colors then. And it's literally, Nothing has changed since the 80s. The same exact things, the same furniture. It's cool. It's like a time flash. Oh, my lunch arrived. I got their enchilada special. It's enchiladas, rice and beans. Oh, it's so good. And some tostada chips. And of course, it's not complete without some good sour cream. Woo, Sega Bob is living large. Mmm, I love it. <laughs> Alright, Tubies, that was a great lunch. We're going to go out here now and go do some shopping. By the way, I wanted to show you their big aloe plants here in the window. Check these out. Aren't these amazing? I love aloe plants. Anyways, we're going to go on along now. You know, uh, you remember last week we had that spell with the star anise. Well, I've run out of star anise, so I think I need some more. We're going to go down here to a little uh, Botanica Market, and maybe we'll find some good mystical herbs. Come on along. So here we are outside of La Latina Market. This is a cool little store. They have groceries and kind of brands you don't normally see everywhere. Yes, it looks like they're open. There's their door open. And we're going to go on here have an adventure today so come on along. One of the things that I love about this store is they have magical candles and I never leave without some candles. Oh look they've got the special rue candles. These are wonderful. I'm definitely gonna get one of these today. Oh it smells so heavenly. They have different color mystical candles. That's the thing I love about these little Latin markets. They have a little bit of everything. And they understand mysticism, you know. Good old St. Jude. I love him. He's a powerful helper. I always pray to St. Jude. He's on my good list. 
And look, we cannot ignore Our Lady of Guadalupe, who is the Great Mother. But right now, I want to find some herbs. So we're going to go back here and see what they got. Oh, and look, here we are back at the spices and herbs. Here's a wonderful peppermint. Uh, yerba Buena, it says. And it's only 99 cents. That's how many ounces. This is 0.25 ounce. That looks like more than a quarter of an ounce. It's pretty solid. So 99 cents, see? Um, oh, here's some chamomile. That's always good. Now you can make chamomile tea, and that's good too. That's also only 99 cents. <clears throat> so wonderful. So they have a lot of they have a lot of herbs. Oh, and Tui's, look what I found. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Do you know what this is? I thought at first it was a loaf of bread, but as I looked at it, I realized it's a sea sponge. You see that? That's its ventricles. This is actually an organism from a sea. Sponges are considered like plants or animals. They're kind of a cross between, between living animals and plants. The sponge. Isn't that cool? So what people do is they take that and they slice it and they use it to scrub their faces. It's a great cleanser. I don't think people eat it, but it can be used for a cleaning device. Oh, that is so cool. A big sponge. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Wow. They have a whole stack of them down here. So I might have to buy a sponge. That's kind of novel. So anyways, Oh, look, they also have sea salt here. That's really good for magical stuff. And basil. Where would we be without basil? That's a, that's a really good herb. Cinnamon. Oh, yes. Cinnamon's great for prosperity magic. Oh, and cloves. Now, cloves is a protection uh, herb. How much is it? Only $2.49. Do you know how much cloves this size would cost at, like, uh, the supermarket? Way better prices. All right, so say Bob's looking. Well, here's some cumin. That's good. Cumin's kind of a um, can be a love herb or it can be a like a protection herb too. Hmm, all sort of options. Oh, and look here. This is a root, valerian root. This is a really great root um, for protection or purification. Uh, it's a healing herb as well. Some people grind it up, put it in tea. It's a little odorous. It smells a little bit like stinky socks. To take a trip. So if you use valerian root, I can even smell it from here. Go very light on it, okay? But it is a healing herb and a protection herb. So, oh, here's bay leaves. Look at this now. This is a great amount of bay leaves. Bay leaves are really powerful in protection measure. That's a large bay leaf. See, that's a good one. I don't know what the price is on these. I have to find out, but I'm sure they're pretty good price. Everything in the store is really great price. These, you, every witch needs to have some laurel or bay. It's called bay leaves or laurel bay. Powerful from protection magic. And brings money, too. Now, here's an herb that you can hardly find anywhere in the normal grocery stores. Eucalyptus. Eucalyptus leaves. These are very powerful healing herbs. And if you have a cold, especially like a chest infection, what you do is you uh, make a, a pot of boiling water and you pour it in a bowl with, filled with these leaves and then you put your head under a towel and you breathe in the uh, boiled eucalyptus leaves. The steam from it is very healing. I'm definitely going to get these today. Only a dollar forty-nine. Now you can't beat that for that much herbs. It says an eighth of an ounce. I swear that they seem like there's a lot more in there than what you'd think for an eighth of an ounce. So eucalyptus leaves should have it. Everybody should have these. The thing that I actually came here for, I am not finding. I'm looking for star anise. This is where I always buy it from, and it doesn't seem to be any on the racks. So I may have to ask about that. So we'll take a look around. Maybe we'll find it somewhere else in this store. But this is always where I buy my star anise, and I don't, I don't see any here. All right. Well, we'll look around. 
All right, Chibis, I'm filling up my cart here. I just bought some tomillo, which is thyme. And in our supermarkets here, you never see thyme on the stock. It's usually de-stocked and in a jar, but this is really nice because it's in its raw form, which I really like. So I bought me some thyme. We're gonna do videos about the all these herbs later on, but that's a really great herb to have for witches. Uh, these are ones that everybody should have, no matter what your magic spell. Eucalyptus, of course, we talked about that for healing. Bay leaves and laurel. This is a wonderful herb also to work with. A uh, very magical herb. And I just found another one over here, which I wanted to add. Oops, where to go? Oops, somewhere here. Here it is. In Spanish, it's called ayeno. But if you look closely, it's wormwood. This is a great divination herb and a protection herb. It's very great for prophecies and incenses and things. So I never see wormwood at the grocery market, so we're definitely gonna get that too. So I got a few stocks of herbs going on. All right, well, I can't seem to find star anise, but I'm gonna get me a green candle also. So I need that. I think I'm stocked up on the other candles. But you know what, I'll buy one more white because white candles are all purpose. You can never have too many white candles. So I'm gonna get a white candle also to go with me. Let's see what else they got here. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh. Look at this, guys. Large, full-size taper candles. Four, you know how much these usually run? Let's see what these, what the price is. $2.99, that's not too bad. Huh, I might get those too. All right, there we go. There's my business card. And I put another one down here. And this is at Latina Market. Um, I love it when these stores have these boards like this. You know, like, I'm from back in the old days of the 80s when we didn't have internet, and this is how people built their businesses, literally through these boards. And I built my psychic business long before the internet. But uh, it's kind of cool to go back to the old ways sometimes. So, say goodbye, Bow, be posting cards, seeing and being seen. Well, let's head outside and see what's going on here. Oh my gosh, it is just a rainy day here. But that's all right. I think I'll go down and have a cup of tea and maybe a little sweet this afternoon. We're gonna go down to a restaurant I'm crazy about called Bob and Edith's. So come on along. But here we are at Bob and Edith's Diner. You know what I'm hearing? Have something good to eat. I love it. This is a really good one. They do the best desserts, so I'm telling you, you will love it. You know, it's challenging here today because I placed an order and they seem to have lost my order. And now there's confusion as if they have anything that I've ordered. Guys, I'm having the best time. This is my helper here. She just brought me a wonderful dessert. Can you tell me what I got here? Uh, you got a chocolate cream pie. Chocolate cream pie. Oh, and is that my hot tea as yes, well? Yes, it is. All right. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys. Well, I finally got what I want. Oh, my God. Look at this pie. Oh, my God. Ten feet thick. Oh, and some fresh hot tea. The day has just gotten better. <laughs> oh my god, these people take everything I say literally. I said, I'd like a lot of sugar and cream with my tea. <laughs> and they brought me like a whole bowl of sugar and like three creams. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, you want to talk about sin and decadence. Solid cream, chocolate cream, fresh pastry. Oh, and look, a cherry. We're going to have to work on that, too. <laughs> Love it. And as you guys know, I've always said I believe in signs. And I find it interesting that right here on the plate is a little dab of whipped cream, and it's done in the shape of a star. And you know the star is always a sign of magic and blessing and protection. So I think this is a little cosmic notice that I'm being guided and blessed today. I'm going to eat the cherry now. Want me to eat the cherry? I'm going to eat the cherry. 
All right, for extra bonus points on the quiz, how does Psycho Bob take his tea? Two sugars and one cream. For those of you who remember that, you might be eligible to win a prize soon. We're going to have a contest. So I want you to remember this trivia. How does Psycho Bob drink his tea? Two sugars, one cream. Be back here tomorrow because we're going to explain why that uh, might win you something. Well, the tea didn't turn out so good. Uh, the cream that they brought me was sour and it ruined the tea, so I had to send it back. So right now I'm just working on a glass of water and I think I'll have a Coke. I kind of put off tea after that. Well, my faith is in this restaurant's being restored. The management apologized. They said, we're so sorry. Could we get you another drink, another tea? I said, no. They said, anything else? I said, well, a Coke would be nice. So they brought me a Coke on the house. Isn't that sweet? Just like Bob is happy again. Well, you know, I tell you, I was so excited to find this eucalyptus herb. This is not something you can just buy at the supermarket. At least I never see it at any of the supermarkets I go to. So I was really excited about it. And I thought we'd take a look here in magical herbalism to see what it says about eucalyptus. So it said eucalyptus, it says eucalyptus globulus. That's the name of it. The folk name is blue gum. The gender is cold. The planet is the moon. Now, isn't that interesting? I did not realize oops, that this herb is connected to the moon. The element is air. The part used is the leaves and pods. The basic healing, basic power of this herb is healing. Okay. So it's a healing herb. And here it says specific uses. Stuff healing poppets and pillows with the leaves. Ring blue candles with eucalyptus leaves and burn for healing vibrations. Now that's something I haven't done. We should definitely try that spell. Hang a bunch of eucalyptus leaves over the sick bed or in the sick room. Add a few leaves to flower scent to the afflicted. Now that's interesting. So you could add, tuck a few leaves into flowers that you send to people. I like that. Stir immature green pods and hang around the neck to cure colds and sore throats. Wow, see, isn't that amazing? And I'm just so excited that I was able to get this today. So there you go. So we're definitely going to have more about the healing herbs uh, as we go through the coming days. So definitely keep watching. Well, two piece, my battery on my camera is literally about to die, so I'm going to wrap this up. Thanks for being here today. You guys rock. Make sure to help me out. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. Be back here tomorrow on Friday for Free For All Friday. We're going to have some amazing stuff. I've got some unboxing of some presents to do, and I still have to show you my vase that I bought from Pier 1. So be here tomorrow. We'll have some fun. Till then, may all of you always bless and be. All right, guys, just real quick before my battery dies, make sure to go to my web merch store before the, below this video and get my t-shirt now with the painting Green Frenzy, the original artwork that started it all. Green Frenzy available at my merch store. Check it out. Get your Psycho Bob t-shirt today. Yay! Comes in all sizes. Green Frenzy. Don't miss it.